The news moves fast, and numbers are our language at Statista. Let's take a look at the data behind some of this month's main headlines. In many parts of the world, October marks the start of the Halloween season. Although Halloween is arguably celebrated most vividly in the United States, countries all over the world have their own versions of the holiday. Halloween isn't just a celebration, it's big business. In the United States alone, planned expenditure on Halloween is estimated to increase to 10.6 billion US dollars this year. This comes despite the fact that nearly half of all respondents to a recent survey said that inflation was set to impact their celebrations. Prior to Halloween 2022, more than 30% of American consumers surveyed said they planned to cut back on decorations, while more than 25% said they would cut back on costumes and candy. According to the Consumer Price Index for Urban Consumers, the price of cakes, cupcakes, and cookies in September 2022 was 16% higher than during September 2021, while the price of candy and chewing gum increased by 13.1%. Despite rising prices, one thing that does remain certain is that handing out candy, decorating, and dressing up are America's favorite ways to celebrate. October saw former British Prime Minister Liz Truss earn the dubious honor of becoming Britain's shortest-serving post-war Prime Minister, holding office for just 44 days. Markets reacted extremely poorly to the Truss government's financial policies, with the government's first mini-budget causing the British pound to hit a record low against the US dollar and triggering an intervention from the Bank of England. The immediate collapse of internal support, criticism from the IMF, and a resurgent opposition led to disastrous poll results. With the departure of the second prime minister in less than two months, the Labour Party called for an immediate general election. Polls showed that if an election were held in October, the Conservative Party would suffer a crushing loss. Despite having lost the previous leadership ballot to Liz Truss, Rishi Sunak was sworn in as Britain's newest Prime Minister on the 25th of October 2022. Regardless of the length of his term, Prime Minister Sunak has already set historic records, becoming the first British Asian PM and also the country's youngest PM in the modern era. With an estimated family fortune of 730 million British pounds, the Sunak family sits at number 222 on the Sunday Times rich list. Whoever occupies number 10 Downing Street, the job of steering the UK's economy through the coming years will be an immense challenge. Not content with building rockets to explore the universe, Elon Musk made his mark on the Twitterverse. In January 2022, Musk began amassing shares in the company, on the 4th of April disclosing he now held a 9% share. Shortly after, Twitter notified the Securities and Exchange Commission that Musk had offered $54.20 per share for the remaining shares, and that entities related to Musk were willing to provide around $46 billion in relation to the deal. On the 28th of October, Musk tweeted, The bird is freed, signaling to the world that his takeover of the social media giant was complete. The end result was one of the largest leveraged buyouts in history. Now that the deal is done, what has Musk actually acquired? Twitter is one of the most popular social networks in the world, with an estimated 448 million users in 2022. Revenue in 2021 exceeded 5 billion US dollars for the first time, marking a fourth consecutive year of growth. While revenue has climbed, Twitter's results have been mixed. In 2021, Twitter recorded a net loss of 221 million US dollars. Musk has previously said that he is not interested in the economics of the deal, but his interest lies rather in creating a platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive. In previous tweets, he has promised to do this by restoring free speech, improving algorithms, tackling spam bots, and authenticating all humans. It's a nervous time for Twitter employees. 
Reports have emerged that anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of the workforce could be let go, with a number of high-profile sackings already occurring. The death of 22-year-old Masa Amini after having been detained by the morality police in Tehran sparked protests all over the country of Iran. The uproars, which started hours after Amini's death on September 16th, are considered to be the largest demonstrations against the Iranian regime since the Green Movement in 2009. Along with a heavy-handed and deadly crackdown, authorities cut off mobile internet services in a bid to control the flow of information, leading to a surge in VPN usage in the country. Iran has a long history of protests since the establishment of Islamic rule in 1979. The first demonstrations took place only weeks after the Ayatollahs came into power, when rumors of hijab mandates began to spread. Protesters are marching to the chant of woman, life, liberty. According to a 2020 survey, the majority of the Iranian population does not believe in the hijab and is therefore against forcing women to cover their heads in public. Iranian youth appear to be fed up with the government's handling of the country. In a 2022 survey of Iranian youth, the majority reported they saw no prosperity in their futures and had a negative view of the president. Bans on foreign and independent media, as well as internet shutdowns, mean that it is very difficult for information to leave the country. As of October 26, 2022, 234 people were reported to have lost their lives. These are just some of the facts and figures behind this month's major stories. You can find out more about these topics and countless more from Statista. Join me again at the start of December when we take another look into the month in data.